The Mortar Monkey was buffed once again in the most recent update to BTD Ballast 2. And we're going to be showcasing it for a video because, dude, this buff made everybody absolutely happy because the mortar is going to just be much much better now so without further ado let's hop right into it and it looks like our opponent is gonna be starting off with fussy the snowman as his first palm power tower whereas we're gonna be instead starting off with good old biker bones because with today's video we really want to specifically showcase the mortar since with this most recent 1.7.1 update it was directly buffed and there was actually only one buffed made uh, in case you didn't know, okay? And pretty much now you have the option to enable the follow mouse targeting just like you can with the Dartling Gunner and also the Heli Pilot. So like with the Dartling Gunner, wherever you click and hold, the Dartling Gunner will go. It's the same case now when it comes to the Mortar Monkey if you choose to do that, okay? You can also set the target as well, which is nice because you can do that too with the Dartling Gunner, right? But I decided to use Biker Bones Bomb Farm Mortar as today's strategy. Uh, hopefully this is going to be the right pick for us and by the way i'm gonna set this bomb to close and uh hopefully that's the play uh, actually i don't think it's going to be okay we're gonna put this back to first and we're gonna see and uh, actually no close to the play okay so i just tanked so many <laughs> unnecessary lives right there because I was experimenting, okay? So I do apologize, but it looks like our opponent over here is running with meta, Dartling, and Fossey the Snowman. So really unfortunate stuff right there, but it is what it is. Let's go for our first farm here. I don't even know if Bomb Farm Mortar is going to be good on a map like Garden, but here we are using it, all right? So he just went for his boat over on his side, okay? So we want to make sure that we keep up the pressure over on his side. We're definitely going to be sending him some space whites here on round five. We want to delay him going for that uh, boat farm as much as we possibly can, okay? And we're probably going to have to go for the bigger bombs upgrade here. So, yep, let's go for that. And then we'll probably have to go for another uh, tower boost that. I'm scared. I'm really, really scared. We ended up leaking down to, what, 45 lives right there, okay? So, yeah, I'd rather play that a little bit safer than sorry for sure. Ooh, he's probably going to be able to go for that, dude. That sucks. Okay, maybe if I balloon boost these. Maybe. Just maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't go for that. Don't go for your merchant, man. You can't. You literally can't. You're taking lives left and right. Okay, he didn't get it up. He didn't get it up before the start of round six. So that's a good thing. Let's go for the greater production over on our farm here. And he didn't really leak all that many lives, but like we're both kind of down bad right now, right? We're down to 45. He's down to 51. Okay, so the stakes are definitely high right now. I'm going to try to go for another 200 farm here, by the way. He's not going to be sending us like yellows or anything crazy like that. Actually, no, 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 he's not because he's definitely going to want to go for another boat farm. Bro, I placed down this freaking farm, but the game didn't register it, so I didn't get that extra banana. But yeah, after this next 200 farm, I think we should start preparing our mortar. And yeah, there's really not all that many mortar spots on a map like this, but that's okay, okay? Because we don't want to go for like a ton of mortars, right? Maybe like three max. And he was able to go for that next merchantman right there because these rounds are kind of being stalled out. So fair plan. Now I'm going to send him some space purples here and then let's go for a mortar. Now the mortar, the nice thing is it does not need to be within the range of biker bones to receive that buff. So that of course is really, really nice. I'm going to go for that. I'm going to target it right there. Actually, wait, we can go for the follow mouse. Oh my God. I'm a bot for that. Oh my God, dude. No, stop it. Stop it. Okay. Follow mouse. See, <laughs> that took me so long to freaking achieve. Holy crap. Okay. But I think we only need like really a two, one mortar right here. Uh, maybe a two, two. 220, okay? That should be able to defend because we already have a cluster bomb over on our side, right? So hopefully I'm right about that. We force a ton of upgrades over on his side. So we'll definitely, definitely take that. I don't think he's going to have the money to necessarily rush us here. He's really going to put a lot of his money into his defense, you know? So I think that means we're going to be in the clear. I'm going to continue on sending all these space zebras here. Let's get back to sending group blues now. I'm going to go for the shell shock over on my side. And then we're going to need a decamo mortar as well. So this one, though, will set to target, okay? Because we want our signal flare to constantly decamo balloons for us, you know? And he's going to send us a little bit of a rush here. I think we're fine against this. I think we're fine against that. We are. Oh, my God, bro. We just shredded that. Let's freaking go, boys. Okay, I haven't even showcased this, by the way. So, of course, wherever I click, you can see the mortar just moving around constantly, which, again, is just absolutely awesome. Round 13 is here. Okay, we're going to continue on just eco win, I guess, throughout these mid-game rounds. Uh, because he's practically unrushable, right? He's got that Ice Shards, Pat Fusty combo, or Fusty the Snowman, I'm sorry. So, there's really not all much we can do currently. Oh, he's got to watch out for the AI legs. He literally has to watch out for that. He better hope he doesn't die to those. Um, okay, he ended up being good. I could have sent him a rush right there, and that could have been very, very bad for him. So, noted round 14 AI leads. We should probably definitely rush on a map like Garden for sure, too, because the AI path is a little bit weirder, you know? So, I'm not sure if I want to go for 
my banana plantation here or continue on eco win. You know what? I don't think this game is going to go all that late, so I'm going to go for the plantation upgrade here. I'm not even sure it's the play, but it's the play we're going to do nonetheless. He's going to start eco win pinks here, okay? So we definitely want to make sure that we're aggressive here on like round 17, round 18 with like four to five mobs and stuff like that. So 100% going to be doing that because Pat Fussy slash Fussy the Snowman, they did receive a nerf with their slap pushback attack. So they can't push back Moab class balloons as well as they used to. Um, because it used to be pretty OP, okay? So we're definitely going to try to utilize that. We might even stop ecoing here at around like 1,500 eco, by the way, because I definitely think it's going to be more than enough. So yeah, we'll stop ecoing there. Perfect. Let's see what he does here. Okay, I think he's going to be rushing us. No? Okay, he's not. So let's follow the mouse on this one, by the way. Uh, so pretty much what we're going to do here, this is going to be our artillery battery, right? So we could just start going for that right here, right now. Because if we need to defend against four to five Moabs, I think this is going to be one of the best ways for us to do so, right? All right, round 18 here. Maybe, do we rush him here? He has a lot of boat farms, so we could definitely. Uh, yeah, let's do it, okay? Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. We're just going to send like two four to five Moabs here. Now, we need to make sure that things are underneath um, so that the slap back doesn't work as well, okay? So just constant freaking consistent zebras underneath all of that. He did use level three ability when a balloon boost this. Oh, he has the boat pool. He has the boat pool. He's dead. GG's. GG's, GG's, GG's. He's trying to go for a buckshot. Nope, dude, right there. You can clearly see. Did he even push that back at all? He didn't. That is actually crazy. Unfortunately, our opponent just did not rush us there, but I will play another one for y'all, so GG's. And it looks like our opponent is gonna be starting off with the Darling Gunner as their first bomb power tower. Their hero is Fossey the Snowman, by the way. So yeah, we're probably gonna have a repeat of last game, but now, actually, no, 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 wait. He's probably using Darling Village Ice. He definitely is, okay? Because you can already tell he's trying to stall out these rounds as much as possible. He's actually doing a pretty fantastic job, but we're gonna make sure to send Space Eco here. So let's get to doing that. He's also gonna be doing the same thing at us, okay? So let's start going for our bomb right here, right now. Let's go for the extra range. Okay, so we probably won't have the life advantage against him, and that's okay. Oh my god, he already cleared the freaking obstacle. Balloon boost these then. Balloon boost those. He's not gonna like that. Yeah, he has to tower boost that. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we're also tanking lives though. Okay, tower boost, tower boost, tower boost, tower boost. Because this hurts. This freaking hurts. That hurt us even more than him. That's crazy, guys. Okay, so I don't know like what a better start would be. I, I truly, truly don't. Okay, so we're definitely gonna have to go for the cluster bomb upgrade here after this next income boost. So let's go for that finally. Perfect. And yep, now he's ecoing with Groot Blues here. Okay, so we're gonna make sure that we stay consistent with the space deco, right? He's gonna have to go for the powerful darts because it looks like he is not able to fully, fully defend. And then we're gonna want this on close, by the way, right? So let's get that on close. Perfect. And we can start going for our boat as well because this could actually do a little bit of popping power damage for us, all right? But we wanna make sure that we are popping these balloons right as they come out the map because we don't want these rounds to be stalled out because we already know he's using darling village ice like it is actually clear as freaking day and it really sucks because since he is using a pure eco strategy he most likely won't be as aggressive towards us all right so maybe i should go for bigger bombs at least on this not sure if we need even more than that uh, looks like we are able to almost defend um wait maybe we're good here no we're not no we're not what did I what did I do? Okay. I, I tower boosted out of panic and fear, and I definitely shouldn't have done that. God, okay, that sucks. <laughs> dude, we're already down two tower boosts and just started freaking round six. Dude, this is not a good look for us at all here. Uh maybe boat farming with bomb is just not the play, but it's the play that we're gonna do nonetheless, all right? Oh my god, I didn't even get that up. I didn't even get up my merchant men. I'm so bad at this game. All right, we're going to have to start going for our mortar right here right now. Like, there's really nothing that I can do about it. So let's just start going for that. Actually, wait. It looks like we're able to almost defend fully with just our current setup. Okay, so I guess then we're not going to really do anything. He already went for ice shards over on his side. I still didn't even get up this merchant men, bro. I am selling so hard. But the thing is, he can't really necessarily rush us with him using that pure eco strategy. Okay, so I'm going to go for this merchant men here. He's probably not going to like that. So we can't rule out that he won't rush us here, right? So we got to watch out. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. 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 I'm going to go for... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. We need a decamo one. We need a decamo freaking mortar. Okay. I'm a bot for that. Set the target right here. Signal flare. Okay. Don't send me anything, please. I have literally no money right now. I have zero freaking dollars, dude. This is not good. Okay. We're going to decamo all the way at the front of the map. So let's do that. We're going to have this mortar on follow mouse. So let's do that. 
And then what do we do here? I think we should upgrade first of all. So yeah, let's make sure that we have that faster firing on that. And we should be good here, okay? Because again, he just cannot rush us. And just like the last guy, he's going to struggle to fortify mobs, okay? So I guess we'll wait until then to rush him. He's literally only equal him with grouped greens right now. Like he is so scared that I'm going to rush him. Okay, he's rushing us here a little bit. Okay. Okay, just tower boost that then. Tower boost that. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. That's our last freaking boost, though. That's the one kind of bad thing, but he balloon boosted. And I was scared if I didn't tower boost that, then we would have died. I'm surprised to see that he rushed us right there, okay? So props to him for at least rushing us. Uh, but maybe here on round 16. Oh, he's going for another Dartling Gunner. He stopped echoing too? Bro, this guy. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This man is playing ultra safe, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap. All right, so we won't send him mobs here. He just stopped decoying, okay? So let's see if he sends us one. I'm going to set it to strong if that's the case. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yep. Okay. So we should be good here because then... Oh, should be good here, though. Okay. Get that mortar. Yep, pop those down, pop those down. Okay, okay, okay. And then we'll use level three ability on this. Okay, he's going to balloon boost that. That's fine, that's fine. Watch, we'll use level three now. Perfect. We should be able to defend that. Yep. We were good. We were good. We are good. I, I appreciate you being aggressive, my friend. I, I very, very much appreciate that. But now comes the time that I have to be aggressive against you. Okay? It just has to be this time now. He's going to rush us, though. Dang it. Okay. So, might have to go for a double assassin here. We're good. We're good. We're actually fine against this. We use level three ability. Yep. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll use level 3 ability. No, don't die to that. Don't die to that. Don't die to that. Okay, we're good. We're good. I'm going to balloon boost. Okay, because he's still 245 miles right there. Is he dead? Is he dead? Oh my god. Pat Fussy came in clutch for you. He came in clutch for you. Is he dead? He has to die, right? He's dead. Bruh. What? You got to be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. Oh my god. This freaking lag, man. Okay, wait. We're good. We're good. We're actually fine. Okay, we'll use level 3 ability here in a second again. No, okay, we're good. All right, holy freaking crap, guys. Guys, we have to send him a fortified BFB here. Oh, that was unfortified. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god, no, that's not actually fine. <laughs> that is not fine, guys. This game has literally been so weird. He sent it. Why are you sending us a fortified BFB? I literally have boat to pull that. He's going to tower boost against this. All right. So good thing that he tower boosted against an unfortified one. So I guess we'll take that. I have to stop egoing here. I literally have to because I have to boat pull this. That's going to be definitely our best way of defending. So I'm going to sell. Actually, no, we're good. So use that. Perfect. We'll, we're going to sell you. Send a ZOMG here. This will force the big squeeze upgrade over on his side. Okay. They're still in for my form. So he's got to watch out here. Is he good? Ooh. I guess he is. Okay, bro, bro. Bro, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, we don't have tower boost. We have to actually watch out for this. Artillery battery. Yep, artillery battery. This is the play. Trust, trust, trust. He just wasted so much money with sending all of that, though. So, actually, let's put this on follow mouse. Okay. And then we'll go for artillery battery, like I said. Oh, wait. We're short, we're short, we're short. Okay. Do we even need it? Do we even need it? Yeah. Just use it, just to be safe. Fortified ceramics too within the AI right here. So just want to make sure that I'm going to be good. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Awesome. So he's got to worry about all those BFBs and stuff underneath. We're going to sell you. We're going to send another one here. Because I think he big squeezed the first one, right? And then we'll balloon boost this. Because he's going to have to worry about all the insides. And he might be fine against that. He actually might be fine against that. But another ZOMG here. Oh, wait. Why, why am I like nearly dead to the freaking camos? Oh, my God. Why am I nearly dead to the camos? That's scary. Oh, was he able to freaking big squeeze that one too? He rocket storm that? I think he defends that. Oh, it's close. Oh, did he barely die? Tell me. Tell me he died. Oh my god, he leaked. He freaking leaked, boys. Dang it. Okay, he's not even equaling at this point. So I'm going to send him a fortified ZOMG here. He's going to have to go for a blue nary denial system here. No doubt about it. No freaking doubt about it. Are we fine against this? Please be fine against that. Please be fine against that. We are, we are, we are. Perfect. I don't think he has any more tower boost though. I don't think he has any more tower boosts. This game is literally just all over the place, guys. It's all over the freaking place. I don't have any more balloon boosts. Please tell me you died to that. Please. Just die already. <laughs> he refuses to die, boys. This is not good. 
This is uh, actually no, it's in fortified ZOMG form. We actually might be good here. He's not equine, so maybe we shouldn't either. He might send us DDTs here. Okay, so we're gonna have to watch out for that. I went for our favorite trades here then. Yeah, he can't defend that. He can't defend that. He's waiting for DDTs. He's actually literally waiting for DDTs here. So let's get this ready. And then we're gonna have to sell you. Okay. Because Moab Assassins, we could use those, but we have to make sure that we decam with the DDTs down first, right? So he dies of that, right? He has to die to that. He has to. He doesn't have a tower boost, I don't think. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think. Wait. Oh my god, we just sent DDT here. I forgot. Okay. He has to worry about that. He has to use Icicle Impale. Nope, you're dead. You're dead to that. You're dead. Oh my... Dude, what even was that game? I honestly could not tell y'all. I can't believe he didn't even try to send us a DDT right there. But we ended up finally getting the victory. G freaking G's. The new mortar is honestly awesome. But man, oh man, I, I got to practice with it because I'm really bad with it. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to check out this video where this tower combination got a massive buff. It's Fossey the Snowman times the Ice Monkey. Literally one of the best tower duos in the game. So if you haven't already, go make sure to watch it.